This video is about generations of computers and its evolution. The timeline of the history of computers can be studied with reference to five generations. The computer evolution could be noticed by looking into the characteristics of computers, and how it evolved over time with the technology. Though computers are machines, there are certain characteristics that differentiated from other machines. Let's look into each of these characteristics in detail. Firstly, speed. Computers perform calculations in a fraction of a second. No humans or other machines can match this speed. Accuracy. Computers have no decision-making ability unless it's programmed to process data to produce a result as an expected output. Therefore, computers are always giving accurate results. Versatility, apart from speed and accuracy, another specific characteristic of computers is the ability to perform a variety of tasks. Because of this, computers are widely used at homes, offices, schools, banks, and even in hospitals to name a few. Diligence, being an electronic machine, computers do not get tired but able to work non-stop with the same speed and accuracy. Faster communication. Since computers communicate electronically, its speeds and communication cannot be matched. Lastly, high storage. Computers provide means to store a large volume of data, also facilitates to recall quickly when needed. Anyway, apart from these powerful characteristics, computers being an electronic machine, still shows some considerable limitations. Number 1. No heuristics, means. Computers do not possess the ability to learn from previous mistakes. This is a main drawback of computers besides its powerful capabilities. Secondly, computers do not have their own IQ, and are lacking the ability to make their own decisions. Besides characteristics, the classification of computers into generations is mainly based on the technology used during its evolution, and is divided into five generations. The first generation of computers falls between the years 1940 to 1956 while the second generation of computers falls between the years 1956 to 1963. The third generation of computers falls between the years 1964 to 1971, and the fourth generation of computers falls between the years 1972 to 1980. The fifth generation is considered from 1980 onwards to the present day. Let's have a look into each generation and how it differs from the other. The first generation computers, mainly, vacuum tubes, and magnetic drums being used as memory and these computers occupied a lot of space. Based on the size and the technology used, they consumed a lot of electricity and generated a large amount of heat. Overall, this is very expensive to operate. One of the examples of first-generation computers is called, ENIAC or Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. The ENIAC was developed by J. Presper Eckert and John Walkley. The ENIAC is considered as the first general-purpose and fully electronic digital computer. It consisted of over 18,000 vacuum tubes. Well. This explains the size and the heat it can generate while operating. The other computers considered under this generation are Edvots or Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer, Univac 1 or Universal Automatic Computer 1, IBM 701, and IBM 650. The Edvots was an improvement to ENIAC with stored programs by design. This was developed by J. Presper Eckert, John Mockley, and John von Neumann. Univac 1 on the other hand, was the first commercially successful computer available. It was also developed by J. Presper Eckert and John Walkley. Overall, these computers were large and very unreliable. They would heat up and frequently shut down and could only be used for very basic computations. The second generation of computers used transistors. The primary memory was stored on the magnetic cores and magnetic tape, and they used magnetic disks as secondary storage devices. Due to this, they were comparatively smaller and faster compared to the first generation. Based on design and technology, they were cheaper to maintain and used higher level languages like COBOL, Fortran, etc. as input. Some of the examples of second generation computers are Univac 3, IBM 1401, IBM 700, NCR 300 series, Burroughs B5000, and 200 series, IBM 1620, IBM 7094, CDC 1604. The third generation computers. The third generation of computers used much advanced technology compared to the first generation of computers. They used integrated circuits, also called ICs or chips. IC is a small electronic device made from a special material called semiconductor material. The ICs are smaller and can hold more than a million electronic components per chip. Jack Kilby is credited with the invention of the integrated circuits. These computers were faster and more efficient than the previous generations, and consumed far less power. 
The input languages for these computers were Fortran 2 up to Fortran 4, COBOL, Pascal, ALGOL 68, BASIC, etc. Another special milestone reached here by making these computers available for the general public, for the first time in computer history. This was achievable because they were smaller, and cheaper to operate and therefore affordable. The keyboard and mouse were used to operate these computers for the first time, using an operating system application. This application was capable to run different applications simultaneously. Some of the examples of third-generation computers were Univac 900 series, ICL 1900, IBM 360 series, Honeywell 6000 series, PDP, Personal Data Processor, and IBM 370-168, and Burroughs 6700 design. Fourth-generation computers, they use VLSI or very large-scale integration that could fit thousands of components onto a single smaller chip. VLSI circuits had almost about 5,000 transistors on a very small chip and were capable of performing many high-level tasks and computations. Intel was the first company to develop a microprocessor. These are smaller in size when compared with the third-generation computers and also cheaper and energy-efficient to operate. Above all, they are robust and reliable in handling complex tasks quickly. This generation of computers had the first supercomputer that could perform many calculations accurately and was also used in networking. This transformation laid the foundation to build a worldwide network called the Internet. These computers used a higher level and more complex computer languages as their inputs like C, C++, C++, DBase, etc. Examples are Star 1000, Cray XMP Supercomputer, Deck 10, PDP 11, Cray 1. The first personal computer or PC developed by IBM belonged to this generation. The fifth generation computers. The fifth generation computer is the present generation and used in many areas. These are extremely reliable and employ the ALSI or the ultra large scale integration technology. The input methods are modern high level languages like Python, R, C Sharp, Java, etc. Examples include Intel Pentium series, Intel i3 to i9, AMD Athlon, etc. These computers use artificial intelligence or AI to break some of its major limitations, which is the decision-making ability. AI is a branch of computer science that deals with computers to make it capable to think and make decisions like humans do. These machines are able to accept audio-visual commands as input and perform predefined processes to produce an output of any form. Computers have evolved tremendously and have become a part of everyday life. This concludes the initial chapter of the history of computer series. We hope you enjoyed it. Click the links in the description to read more, join our community, and post your questions. See you in our next video.